Hello everyone and welcome to our backyard. I'm here today to tell you about one of my favorite animals, the monarch butterfly. These butterflies are one of the most iconic and well-researched butterfly in North America. You might recognize them with their black and orange wings and their large size. They like to frequent places that have milkweed and other plants that they can feed on the nectar. Here we have some milkweed plants just like we do at the Bishop Garden at the museum. These milkweed plants serve as food for the growing caterpillars. Each butterfly lays one egg at a time on a leaf, but they can lay hundreds of eggs in the two weeks that they are out and about reproducing. So here, our milkweed plants had tens of different butterfly caterpillars on them for the past couple of weeks, just munching away happily. And I was lucky enough to be able to bring some of those inside to raise and teach my daughter about. There are two different kinds of monarch butterflies in North America, Eastern monarchs and Western monarchs. Eastern monarchs are the butterflies that we find here in Florida. The cool thing about Eastern monarchs is that in the late summer and fall, Eastern monarch butterflies migrate sometimes over 3,000 miles to a special area in Mexico where they gather together on fir trees and hibernate until the warmer weather. Here in Florida, some of our monarchs overwinter, which means that they stay here and they don't migrate, and those are the ones that we're seeing right now. A few days after the eggs are laid by the female monarch, they hatch, and the baby caterpillars eat the egg that they hatched out of. Then they spend the next couple of weeks of their lives living on that milkweed plant, eating leaves, flowers, and seed pods, and even stems if the leaves run out. After a couple of weeks, when they are what we call a fifth instar caterpillar, which is the fifth level of being a caterpillar, they begin to form their chrysalis. You'll see later what that looks like, but it's pretty amazing. They spend another couple of weeks in that chrysalis before emerging as an adult monarch butterfly. If they are in that group of butterflies that doesn't migrate, they'll spend a few weeks reproducing and eating nectar around the area and just enjoying butterfly life. If they are a migrating butterfly and it's the season in which it's getting cold, like late summer and fall, then they'll get ready for that long, long journey all the way down to Mexico. The butterflies that return from Mexico won't be the same ones that left they'll be several generations away from those butterflies, having reproduced and traveled along the way back from Mexico to their original location. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries of monarch migration, but we think that monarchs use the sun, and their own internal magnetic compass on days when it's cloudy to find their way back to that overwintering location. Scientists also tag monarch butterflies and then they're collected after they pass away so that we can better understand where they're coming from and where they're going. There's not much to show you out in the garden anymore as our caterpillar friends have completely defoliated our milkweed. They ate everything from the flowers to the seed pods to every single leaf. But no worries, the milkweed will bounce back and there'll be fresh foliage on it in the next couple of weeks. Our caterpillar friends, on the other hand, have run off to make their own chrysalids and on their way to becoming butterflies. I hope to see them flying out here soon. Although there aren't any more caterpillars to see out here, we brought a few inside over the last couple of weeks. So keep watching after this part of the video to see some footage of those caterpillars going from hungry caterpillars to beautiful chrysalids. 
And if you find your own caterpillars outdoors on milkweed or other host plants, check out the links that we have on our Facebook page to see how you can properly care for them. You'll need a steady supply of host plant leaves as well as a nice enclosure to keep them in, and they'll have to be cleaned out regularly. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Thanks for joining me in my backyard and learning about monarchs with Marin and me. Look at those caterpillars. We're not going to touch though. We're just looking. We're young.